My name is Ella Rich, I'm 21 years old, and I'm an American in Africa. I grew up my young childhood in Madagascar and then the rest of my childhood and young adult life in America. I've been to Zimbabwe, um, I've been to Egypt, I've been to South Africa multiple times. <laughs> Um, I used to live in Madagascar, so... <laughs> okay, my image is different from a lot of Americans because <laughs> um, I lived in Madagascar, which is part of Africa, and so I already knew some of how it was going to be, but when I came here to Tanzania, it was slightly different because Madagascar is definitely poorer than um, Tanzania, so it was kind of a shock seeing that you guys had all these stores and all these cars and paved roads like they didn't have that in Madagascar and that's just <laughs> it was amazing <laughs> America is just stuck in old ways and thinks that <laughs> the people in Africa don't have clothing or <laughs> transportation or anything they just think they live out in the middle of nowhere and <laughs> um, don't do anything and hunt for their food which is true for some people but not all people and America just doesn't get that Africa is actually growing and becoming kind of like America in that sort of way <laughs> I guess I was really shocked <laughs> um, because I thought I was going to be living in a house like this <laughs> when I first came to Africa, and I'm not. <laughs> um, I was also shocked by the paved roads, because where I came from in Madagascar, they didn't have paved roads, so that was a shock, <laughs> and a happy shock. <laughs> um, I was shocked how friendly people are here, like everybody's super friendly, and that's just not how it is in the U.S. <laughs> um, I'm shocked at how green it is because I came during raining season and I've never actually been here during raining season, so that was a shock. <laughs> it's not a dry wasteland like everybody thinks it is. <laughs> I would definitely tell my friends to get a plane ticket and go to Africa because it's amazing and if you don't go, you'll miss out an amazing experience. <laughs> my advice to young Africans is do not go to America at this time. We are in such a bad place right now and it just needs to blow over and people my skin color are getting treated really badly over there so if you guys came to America and have an accent it's gonna be even worse for you guys and I don't want you guys to get hurt so please do not go over to America at the time. It is not as great as you think it is. <laughs> and hopefully we'll get better, but at the moment we are not. So please <laughs> be careful if you do go. You pretty much have as much opportunity as Americans do in Africa, which is amazing. <laughs> yes, definitely believe in the African dream because it's gonna make it all better and you will succeed as a country if you all believe <laughs> if you haven't come to Africa come to Africa just stop everything you're doing and come here because it is great and the animals are beautiful the land is beautiful the people are amazing and just get to know the people here and I swear you'll fall in love with Africa